hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing as you can tell by the title a baby essential haul now this is non-essential and essential so there's things that I I sh definitely need and there's things that I just don't need but I got it anyway <laughs> I am recording off my phone so I hope the quality is okay yeah so if you want to see what I what I've got for the baby so far then please keep watching I think I'm gonna start with the big stuff first which I actually don't have on me right now and the reason I don't have it on me right now is because I can't I can't bring it here like car seats and coat they're like big stuff so we are going to start with also I will put um picture here or here somewhere to show you what it looks like and i'll leave a link down below if that helps if you guys want to get it or something first thing we're going to talk about is the coat baby coat i'm using the same one that my son was using so for now he will still use the coat and she will actually be using the bassinet because she will be sleeping with us for probably like four to six months so the coat that we have is the Buri Slay Royale. I think that's how you say it. He loves it. He's been sleeping in it since he was like four months old. Since he transitioned from his bassinet to the to the coat. So yeah, that's the, the coat we have. And now for the bassinet, with the one that we had for Virat, my my son. I honestly don't remember the brand. They did do a recall on it because it wasn't standing flat and i thought it was just because we were like could be on the on your bed side so i was like literally pushing it towards me so it can be as close as me as possible so i thought that's why it's a bit tilted this way but apparently that was one of the one of the faults in it so it did get recalled and we did give it back for my baby number two we have a new one and it's called the four baby sinet or four baby co sleeper i think it's way bigger than the one we got for my son so i'm pretty excited so that way i'm hoping she will be able to sleep us sleep with us in the room longer than at least four months because my son was pretty much growing out of it by the time he was four months but then again he was a big baby so i don't know how big my daughter is gonna be but yes, yeah, so that's the bassinet. And then we also have a quarter court. So the, the traveling court. We got him the baby Bjorn um quarter court. I don't know what's what's this exactly called. I'll leave it in the link down below. That one's a bit on the pricey side too, but I think it's cheaper now. When we got it, it was a bit pricey, but I think it's cheaper now. I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep looking up. <laughs> so that's the court, the quarter court. And then what else? For his car seat, we have the Maxi Cozy, Maxi Cozy, what is it? Because I'm, rec I'm recording on my phone, I can't look it up. It's, 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 I think it's something like that. Yeah, so the car seat is the Maxi Cozy. There's so many different types of Mexico Z car seats, but it's, yeah, I think it's it's Moda or Coda. That one, and then Cram slash Stroller, whatever you want to call it. Uh, he has the Bugaboo Buffalo, which is now discontinued. So that's the one we're going to use for her. And we've gotten this little attachment that goes in the back because because it's um discontinued and i don't think even before it was discontinued i think there was a second attachment to that that's one big mistake we made we didn't think this through when we when we were buying the um the pram like we didn't think we were gonna have this baby so fast like so quickly we thought you know by the time our son is like four maybe then we'll have another baby and by that time he won't need a pram so but then we decided to have this baby so we need like a double pram but we're not gonna spend an, another hell amount of money for two-seater pram so the only attachment we could get was like those 
I don't know, you like hold on to it. That one we thought, okay, he's still only two, so if she is in the front and I want to go somewhere alone, he will not stand still, so he would want to get out of it because there's no like you can't strap them. So we got this other one. It's called um, VB Easy Rider. It's like a little extra, um, just like a seat that you can attach in the back of the frame. But yeah, anyway, that doesn't matter. This is not about him. But that's what we're gonna do. So that's that. And then, did I mention the baby carrier? I think I did. I'll just mention it again in case I didn't. So the baby carrier, we have the um, Baby Bjorn one, Air one. Wow. <laughs> I really have no clue about any of this. Um, yeah, so it's the, it's one of those Baby Bjorn Air, one Air something. I used it a lot with my son and I know for sure I'm going to use it with her because there will be days where I will have to try to keep my son in control and try to do the housework and I probably need to hold her at the same time. It's more honestly for me baby care is more for household chores because you can just strap her here and do whatever the hell you want and you don't have to worry about holding her. So she can even nap while I do stuff like it's it's yeah I think it's gonna be very handy for me again. It was very handy for me with my son so I know that's something I'll use again religiously because literally I use that thing a lot and if you're a mom you know your cleaning never stops so that's just that next thing I don't have here which I will be using is the bottle sterilizer I hope I don't have to use a lot of bottle this time because I'm I really want to breastfeed but in case I don't and I do have to go take that route which there's nothing wrong with it my son was bottle fed and he's healthy and that's all that matters but I, I do want to breastfeed so and I'm sure even if I breastfeed I will use a few bottles when I'm gonna I'm gonna have to pump um express pump and stuff and you know feed her through bottles sometimes as well so she's not fully relying on my boobies so yeah so the the sterilizer that I have is by the brand i want to say i don't know how you pronounce it is it avent or avent whichever one <laughs> that's the bottle st sterilizer i have I, ha I got it in a set so i have the bottle bottle steri sterilizer the bottle warmer and all the other sh stuff that it comes with I'll, I'll put a picture here for the whole set i have the whole set with me so yeah, I think that those are the things that I don't have on me here. Before this video goes up, there's going to be another video where I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my hospital bag. Where I'm going to be showing a few things that I've got for the baby, which I'm not going to include in here because just it doesn't make sense. Plus, I've already packed my bag, so... I'm not opening that. <laughs> right, so now the things that I have on me, a few more essential stuff that I think is essential. Now what I think is essential doesn't have to be essential for you. What you think is essential doesn't mean it has to be essential for me. But the next thing that I have here is the Medela Swing Pack. I got this from Baby Bunting. I think this is one of the cheapest one. This was probably around, I want to say 250. Yeah, I think it's around 253, maybe 299. I don't know. This comes with the breast pump itself, the feeding device, disinfectant, or it has that microwave bag that sterilizes it. It has the pumping bags, like, you know, when you want to store it in a freezer or something you can use that you can pump it and put it in the bag it has disposable nursing pads and it has the hydrogel pad you know just for cracked nipples for soothing and stuff and yeah so that's that that's one thing that i think is essential for me for the baby i mean 
or both of us, because I will be the one using it. Next, I have the um, breast, what is this called? Three in one breast therapy pack. So it, um, it's one of those like heat pack slash cold pack thing. If you want it heated, you can put it in the microwave and it warms, it, like it heats up and then you can just put it around your nipple area and it like soothes you because it can be pretty painful. The, the days that I did breast pump, I mean the days that I did, did breastfeed, my nipples felt so sore and so raw and cracked. Like it was horrible. So these ones you can eat, yeah, so it, and it helps it helps to um, make more milk too if it's warm so you can use yeah so you can use this either cold or hot and you can use it between feeds it's just a good thing to have and it's obviously reusable so yeah you want to heat it up you throw it in the microwave if you want to uh, do a cold treatment then you just freeze it for a bit it's by the brand this is the they make the um the nipple cream as well. I don't know how to pronounce it. So that's that. This is gonna be one hell long of a video. Okay, so for breastfeeding, I am I am praying every day. Like I, I hope I can breastfeed for longer than three days this time because I am prepared for a lot of things. Like I bought a few things and if I don't breastfeed this is just a waste of money. But yeah so i got the i've heard really good things about this bottle got this komotomo bottle it's supposed to be really good so fingers crossed she likes this bottle that's another thing with babies like you just don't know what they're gonna like this is um one of those bottles where Obviously, the, the nipple bit is looks like your actual breast. Like, it's wide and the, the they can put their whole mouth and, you know, it feels like they're sucking on a nipple. And then the bottom is silicon. So it's very soft. Like, you can squeeze it. So, you know, when they hold it, they feel like it's, it's supposed to mimic the idea of, like, them grabbing your boobs. Hopefully, that's what she thinks it is and she's inside of the photo. Because this wasn't cheap. So yeah, that's the bottle. And then I've gotten this silicone breast pump. So this one is by the brand Haka. Now this thing, what it does is when you are breastfeeding, apparently you leak from the other boob most most of the time so this one what you do with it is instead of putting a disposable breast pad to soak all the oh, to soak all the juice to soak all the milk you use this guy so you pretty much hold it near your nipple and then let go and it like because i'm obviously wearing stuff it's not going to do it but it will hold on to your boobs like it'll just stay there so while you're breastfeeding, this one will catch all the extra milk. And then you can put it in the bottle and she can she can drink it. And it comes with a lid too. If you just want to store it in the fridge or whatever for a bit. So it comes with a little cap. Like so. And you just store it. Simple. And then I have some extra, this I got it in my, um, the bottle set that I got for my son. This ha this is the extra, what is this meal? <laughs> the extra bags for pumping and storing your breast milk. Next, I have some, this is the big, one of the biggest things that I have to show, so I'll just get it out of the way. I used, with my son, I used a normal bathtub, like just literally a regular $10 bathtub from Baby Bunting, which is at his grandparents right now, so I'm not going to bring that here. There's nothing wrong with it. I used that religiously for a good six months, and then I bought a bath stand that would go in it, like a back su ba uh, bath support, so he would be in it, and then I'll put him on top of it, and then the water will be in there, and then... You know, I used to bath him like that. But I heard a lot, a lot, and a lot of good things about this guy. It's called the Angel Care Bath Support. 
what you do with this one is what you do with this one is um you fill up your bathtub your, your regular bathtub with water and then you just put this guy in there and then you show you bath them like that yeah it's I was trying to go for the gray one, but they didn't have the gray one in stock, so I got this one. I got this from Baby Baby Village, I think. I'll link it down below. Next, bunch of wipes. Definitely need wipes. I just have random ones here because I want to try a few different brands. Last time I, would, I, I stuck to Huggies with my son, but I want to explore different ones so i have in my dapper bag i have the brand by q rash it's the water wipe and then there's this one this is another water wipe i think oh these are the these are the bamboo wipes um yeah so that one and then i have huggies the usual and i think that's pretty much it for oh actually no hold on hold on Diaper caddy, something I didn't have for my son, but I'm gonna have it for her, which is pretty much gonna be shared with my son. So I'm gonna put the stuff that I always use for him and her. It will be mostly her nappies, but it'll be a mixture. Like this is for both of them. What's cool about this caddy is though, um, it has a light. You press it. I mean, oh, right there. It's really bright right now, so you can't see the light. But, you know, in the middle of the night when you have to change them or just, I don't know, anything, you just turn this light on and it's pretty bright. So if you have it on your bedside, and I'll be pretty much carrying this all over the house. Morning, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm done everything upstairs and I go downstairs, I'll have everything for her in here. So I don't have to run upstairs for everything like, you know, powder, nappy, rash cream and just oil, anything. So yeah, it, it has like uh, nothing is organized in here right now, but yeah, I have, I have the caddy. This is by the brand Skip Hop. So that's that. I also have this, um, adjustable baby safety such a baby mirror like the car mirror i had one for my son um but it was it was never steady like it always looked down and then i'll have to fix it so it was li literally if i went over a pothole or just any bump it will look down and then i can't see him anymore this one on the other hand you strap this in like it's um it has this thing and I'll I'll put a picture here so you get an idea of what, what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I've had really good reviews about it. So we'll be using this for her. Alright, I think that's all the bulky stuff. Now let's jump on to a few clothes that I have for her. I don't have heaps of clothes for her and I'll tell you why. It's because I don't have heaps of clothes for her, like new clothes, which I want to show you guys on on the on camera. So my son was born in May. He was due in June, but he was born in May. So he came three, two weeks early. And same will be for my daughter. They're going to be probably like two, their, their birth date will be like two weeks apart if anything if she comes on time if she comes earlier then they'll be a week apart or who knows she might just come on my son's birthday um but so their clothes season wise is the same what he wore in the winter she'll wear in the winter and what he wore in the summer she'll wear, wear in the summer so he has really really nice onesies and just body suits all of them and i i always bought him like good quality stuff so um, i don't see any reason why i should buy new ones they're not obviously new but they they're not bad either like you it, it's still usable so um i just didn't think i didn't see any point of buying new stuff i did buy a few things like she deserves a few new things so it's not gonna be all hand-me-downs but 
there are a lot of things that are already packed in the bag like i said in my diaper bag and you're gonna see that before this video goes up so you'll you have an idea but there's a few things cute things that you know she doesn't really need but i got it i got it for her anyway um so the first thing i see in here is something she will need which is brand new though my son has like a two ten of them so she will be using them as well but these are just like and you know how there's no rules about this but girls it's easy for girls to wear boy stuff than boys to wear girl stuff i in my opinion like honestly there's no i'm not gender shaming at all baby boy can wear pink too but it just that's just me like i wouldn't want my boy to wear a dress right but like a girl baby girl can wear things with cars on it or freaking blue i hope you're you know what i'm trying to say anyway these are the two swaddles that i got it's by the brand swaddle me there's, these are a bit of, of a bigger size. This is 0 to 3 and this is 4 to 6. I don't think I'm going to be swaddling her anymore by the time she's 4 months. But I just got one anyway. So that's that. Swaddles. And then bit, uh, mittens. Baby mittens. Most of her, the onesies from my son that she will be wearing has those... Um, in built uh, socks bit and the mitten bit like you know you just close it or you open it so she won't really need mitten but when she wears like just regular shirts and stuff then might use it for that next I got this baby tights it's white oh my god I can't wait for her to wear this I think I got this from like big W or something Next, I have this cute little Peter Alexandra hat and mitten set. It's actually something I got for my son, but I totally forgot to use it. So, sorry, not mitten. Did I say mitten? I meant socks. So, that's a little hat. It, it's pretty boyish, but she can pull it off. Yes. It's one of the cutest things. I got this from TK Maxx. It has a little beanie and um, a bib that says Mommy's Stylist and these cute little booties. How cute! I don't know when I'm going to put this on her, but it has to be sometime when she's a newborn because these are like tiny, tiny, tiny. Speaking of bows, I got her heaps of headbands. Which I'm not going to show because that's just a waste of time. But I got these ones from Amazon. And they're so cute. It's one of those um, turban headbands. So, and so is this one. Such a beautiful color too. So I bought this. I got her bunch of headbands. I want to see which one suits her. Well, she's a baby. Anything will suit her. But I you know. The next I have this cute little dress. Oh my god. I got this from TK Maxx as well. Just this. It's a dress. And then comes with a little diaper um, cover up things. So cute. These are all like newborn or three months. Like I said, there's heaps of headbands. These are a few. And then we have this little dress. So cute. And then we have this guy. This I got from um, H&M. It's a little like a sweater suit set thing like that look at that how cute it's like this and it's in the size zero to one month i like h&m sizing they don't go zero to three like they just don't jump that big like they know like how do you know that it's zero to three like three is just too big it should be zero to one like this one <laughs> 
So that's that. I got her a bath towel, even though my son has heaps, which she can use as well. But this is the bath towel that I got for her. It's a little unicorn. Just how are these things so cute? Like, so I have this. This is another. It's like a. It's like a swaddle. You can use this as a blanket. This little cute little bunny or bear looking one. So you put them in here. And then you close it like that. Like that and like that. And then, yeah. It's cute. The last few things I have is baby bib, which she's not going to use this right away anyway. Yeah, I got that one from TK Maxx. We have the bassinet mattress cover. Boring. And then actually, this is one of the big things as well that I should have showed in the beginning. So with my son, I never got any changing mats because I lived with my in-laws at that time and they had a room downstairs and I just didn't find it necessary to have a change table. I just changed him on the bed. But now that we're living at a different place, I do find myself in my room a lot. So I decided to get a change mat. I did a lot of research. A lot, a lot, a lot. Because I didn't want to get a changing table. I just wanted to get a change mat. But I wanted something where I don't have to change the covers. I hate doing, I just, something about baby things and covers. They just get dirty so fast. And I just didn't want to do that. So, I did my research. And in Australia, this one was one of the top ones. Almost in every uh, blog post or whatever review websites. So yeah, I got this one. This is by the brand Linda. Linda? Linda? Um, this is what it looks like. It's big. It's huge. It's um, like a leather material. It's very soft and warm. Like you, it doesn't go cold. So that will be one good thing in the winter. It was pricey. But I can see myself using this. And you know, you can even massage the baby on this. And if there's oil or whatever, you just wipe it off. That's the best thing. That's what I was looking for. I want something where if there's an explosion or just you just missed it or whatever and there's shit on it, you can just wipe it and go on with your life instead of washing the damn covers. It has a really good grip at the back here. So once you put it on the table, whatever table you want to put it on, I tried it with the with one of the dressers I have and it does not move like it's not slippery at all so yeah that's the change mat I got and I think that's it I still don't have a dresser for her so I still need to put this stuff away and organize it before she comes but I'm hoping to get the dresser by this end of this week or next week and once I do I will make an organization video maybe for you guys and then you can see how I put everything together. That's it for today. I'm sure I missed a few things that I would have loved to show you guys but it's just not processing in my head right now. But I hope this video helped you a little bit. Now again like I said in the beginning these are the things that I think I need. It doesn't have to be something that you need. So you do you. This is what I think would work for me i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope the quality was okay because again i'm said this earlier i'm recording this off my my phone if you do like this kind of video please give this video a, a big thumbs up and subscribe it helps me a lot knowing what you guys want to see next and i will see you guys in the next video bye uh, do you want to see a bump update actually? I'll show you a bump update. If I... There she is. It's cooking away. Okay, bye. <laughs>